everyone, each of you who are on the conference call line. On today, listen, December the 15th, 2022, another thankful Thursday, I believe. Each of us, all of us should be thankful to our Heavenly Father God for another day and opportunity that He has given us. You know, the Word of God tells us all the time to give thanks unto the Lord. Why? Because He is good and His mercy endureth forever. So we welcome all of our members and visitors who are on the conference call line today for our midday prayer, period. Uh, we're going to turn it over to Deacon McCoy. Time She is going uh, to come to us, come and bless us with the names of those on the sick. Listen, those who are requesting special prayer uh, today. Deacon McCoy, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm here. Good afternoon, Reverend Tobias, members, visitors, and friends. Our special prayer request for Thursday, December the 15th, 2022, reads as follows. Brother Malcolm Dodd and family, in the celebration of life for their loved one, Brother Sir Chris D. Brooks, which will be held on Saturday, December the 17th, 2022, at 10.30 a.m. at Full Gospel Tabernacle Church, 787 Hell Road, Memphis, Tennessee, Reverend Al Green, Pastor. We're asking for your continued prayers for Pastor Herbert Broom. He is doing better and would like to thank everyone for calls and prayers. Sister Vonnie Seal Green, she is in the St. Dominic Hospital and a cousin to Reverend Broom. Brother Willie Walker and family in the passing of his wife. He is the brother of Sister Emil Broom. We're asking special prayer for Deacon James Todd, who had outpatient surgery on yesterday, December the 14th at the VA hospital, but now he is resting at home. The Bolden family in the passing of their loved one, Sister Betty. The funeral service will be Saturday, December the 17th at 12 noon at Greater New Jerusalem. Deacon Ralph Woolard and family, Brother Andrew Miggins and family, Sister Jackie Lewis, the niece of Deacon James Todd. We're asking special prayer for Brother Harvey Williams Jr. and family in the passing of his mother. Sister B.B. Burns and family, Sister Georgia Bassett, she is in Lakeland Nursing Home Rehabilitation Center, room 111. Again, that's room 111. Sister Betty Palmer, Sister Ella Buford, Brother Michael Berry, Sister Kayana Berry, Miles and family, and Sister Tabitha Berry. Evangelist Mother Rachel Mitchell, Brother R.T. Clerk and family, uh, Sister Ruthie Davis, Sister Belinda Travis, Brother Larry Stevenson, the brother of Sister Deborah Stevenson, he is in the Yazoo Rehabilitation Center. Sister Annie McClellan, the sister of Deborah Stevenson, she resides in West Covina, California. Sister Demetrius Powell, the daughter of Sister Christine Jackson, she is resting at home. Sister Linda Stutterway, Sister Jeannie White, Reverend Matthew Blackwell, Sister Laverne Chen, Sister Carolyn Miller, Brother Elbert Robinson, Sister Sonji Cooper, Brother Robert McNair, Reverend Durr, she resides in Seattle, Washington. Missionary Dr. Bobby Parker and her two daughters, Sister Brianna Parker and Sister Desiree Day as they battle cancer. Diane Johnson, she's the sister of Sister Carolyn Fleming and her husband, Brother Edward Johnson Sr. Brother Calvin McKnight, he is in the Natchez Meredith Hospital. Sister Teresa Hargrave, she's the sister-in-law of Sister Carolyn Fleming. Sister Annie Wilson, she's the sister of Deacon Burnell Fleming. Brother Bernard Thompson, the nephew of the late Deacon Eddie Thompson, he resides in Fort Worth, Texas. Sister Raquel Moore and family in the passing of our father, Brother Sam Bailey Sr. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. As we approach and celebrate this joyous holiday season, let us remember to share his love and continue to be prayerful for our sick and shut in, those hospitalized, bereaved, those in nursing homes, those that are homeless, and those that are in despair. John 10.10, 10, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. 
This concludes our special prayer request for Thursday, December the 15th, 2022. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Deacon McCoy. Thank you so much for uh, sharing that information with the body of Christ. Listen, we we are in uh, uh, the holiday season. Thank God for the holiday season he has allowed us to experience and be a part of. And listen, we want to uh, encourage each of you to uh, spend as much time with family and friends and loved ones during these holiday season. And for that reason, uh, Bible class will be canceled for the last two weeks of this year. Uh, we will pick back up in January. You know, you all have been so faithful and worked so very hard throughout this year studying the Word of God. Uh, you know, even in the school system, they take uh, summer Thanksgiving and Christmas breaks in the school system. So we are going to allow the body of Christ a break for the last few weeks in this year, uh, and we will pick back up with our, our Bible study and midday pre uh, prayer period in January. So listen, uh, take those two weeks, those few weeks, enjoy family and friends, continue to read the Word of God, continue to study the Word of God, continue to pray, uh, but we do want to give uh, all of our members a break as we gear up and get ready to start uh, 2023 off with a bang. So uh, uh, Bible study and midday prayer uh, will be uh, counseled the last two weeks in this month. Uh, for our midday devotional period and thought on today, uh, the Lord has led my attention to the gospel according to Luke chapter 6. Luke chapter 6, verse 46 through verse 49. This uh, particular passage of scripture or these verses deals uh, with the fact of the Lord of our life the Lord of our life. I want to read Luke chapter 6, verse 46 and 40, uh, 46 through 49, rather, uh, so that you can see what the Word of God says. Verse 46 begins by saying, And why call ye me Lord? Lord, and do not the things which I say. Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my saying and doeth them, he says, I will show you to whom he is like. And then verse 48, he begins to talk about uh, uh, what he is like. He is like a man and dig it deep and lay the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat upon the house and could not shake it, for he was founded upon a rock. Then he concludes in verse 49 by saying, but he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation build a house upon the earth and against it which the streams did beat and immediately the house fell. The rain or the ruin of the house was great. Now, now, now this passage of scripture again deals with uh, Jesus being Lord of our life. Now, we all know that the word Lord should not be used carelessly. I want to say that again this afternoon. The word Lord should not be used careless, uh, carelessly. It's unacceptable to speak of Jesus as Lord in our conversation, even in our prayers, then contradict everything the Word of God says. Lord have mercy. But then to contradict the claim by denying his will and his word, not obeying anything that the Lord said. Now, the truth of the matter is, I believe that a lot of believers, a lot of individuals probably think that statement does not apply to them. But I want to bless you today. But, but, but we should all realize, we should all recognize, uh, resistance can be subtle. What does that mean? Perhaps by by, by, by qualifying our obedience with conditions like this. Many times people say things like this. I will follow the Lord if, or some people will say this, I want to do right, but Lord have mercy, Jesus. I will follow the Lord if I will, or I want to do what's right, but. So when Jesus is identified as Lord in the word of God, it signifies this is going to bless somebody. It signifies that he is sovereign, 
and he rules over our life and all creation. You know, you hear many people say in the church, giving honor and reverence to God, who's the head of my life. You know, the truth of the matter is people say things like that. But listen, if the Lord is is ruler over your life, this is going to bless you. It signifies that he is sovereign and he is the ruler, not just over your life, but all creation as well. So when we assert that he's our Lord, we are claiming that Jesus is our Savior. We're claiming that he's the master of our life, which means we, this is going to bless you, it means that we submit to Jesus in all things. I'm going to say that again. If he is Lord of our life, that means that we are willing to submit to him in all things. Because if we attest to this verbally, but don't actually do what Jesus says, that we, then the truth of the matter is, we are not really or truly serving him. So, in conclusion, and then we're going to pray on today, none of us, none of us can obey God perfectly. That's, 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 that's something we must all realize and recognize. We cannot obey God perfectly, but once we are saved, once we are born again, submitting to Jesus should be of our heart's desire, and it should be a part of our everyday practice. Because after all, think about this, and we're done. After all, Jesus the Christ purchased us with his precious blood and now rules over us for our good. So, so though we may struggle at times, though we may struggle in our lives, uh, we should do all we can to be labeled, listed, and looked at as being individuals who fully or do our very best to submit to the Word of God. Then and only then will He be the Lord over our life. I wanted to share that with the body of Christ. I uh, hope that is a practical word for you all on today. We have three individuals. They are going to pray and bless us on today. Thank, thank these three individuals so very much. We have uh, Brother Wilbert McCoy. We have Sister Mabel Hudson. And we also have Sister Matilda Chapman. They're going to bless us at this time. Brother McCoy, Brother Wilbert McCoy, are you on the line at this time? If so, uh, we, we, we welcome you to get us started today. Okay. Thank you, Pastor Tobias. Uh, Good evening, everyone, and uh, I just want to say, uh, Heavenly Father, thank you. Heavenly Father, thank you for waking us up this morning. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for waking up our family and our friends and, and everyone else, because today we know that the, the law exists, and as we go through the day, Lord, we ask that may our steps walk in your spirit and may the voice of our talking reflect you and lord as we hear the word that comes through our ears just let it just absorb into our soul so that we can please you as we as people in the flesh get the holy spirit and we say your name with a purpose we say your name with a meaning because we want to signify you, Lord, in everything that we do. Lord, we love you. And as Christians, we look forward to your word every day, every night, every moment, every minute. Because you are who you say you are. And we want to give all reverence to you because that's who you signify to us. And we love you, Lord. And we want to give you all the praise and glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Brother McCall, for getting us started today. Bless the Lord. Uh, Sister Mabel Hudson, are you on the line at this time, Sister Hudson? And we submit to you. Hi. Hi. Thank you, Pastor Tobias. Hear our prayer, O oh Lord. Hear our prayer. Incline thine ears to us and grant us thy peace. 
to our pastor and all who are listening this afternoon, may we pray. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything, everything to God in prayer. Gracious, eternal God, we come again to say thank you for the many blessings that you have given to us from the earliest existence of our lives up until this very moment. Dear Lord, I thank you for food to eat. Dear Lord, I thank you for raiments to wear. Dear Lord, I thank you for shelter in the time of storms. I thank you for awakening me this morning and allowing me to see a bright, sunshiny day. A day that we've never seen before and one we will never see again. Dear God, I thank you for these blessings. Many times we come to you to complain about what we don't have. But I come today, dear Lord, to say thank you for the many blessings that you have given us from the earliest existence of our lives up until just now. Lord, we thank you for all of the friends who have come to help us during this time of problems. Lord, they have come with compassion in their hearts to help us in the time of need. I thank you, Lord, for our past years and our devoted church board who have led us through these situations. Lord, I thank you for the members who have followed where they have led us. Lord, we just want to say we thank you for being the God that you are and for doing all of the good things that you have done for us. You said in your holy word that you can open doors that no man can close and that you can close doors that no man will be able to open. We thank you, dear Lord, for we know not what, when, where, why, but we believe that you will take care of your children. You promised that you would never leave us nor forsake us, and we know that you are a promise keeper. Dear Lord, we thank you for your love and kindness and for the love that you give to your children. Dear Lord, we need you, and we can't get along without you. We need you in our homes. We need you in our communities. We need you in our churches. And we need you throughout the length and the breadth of the country today. Dear Lord, please have mercy on us and bless us today. Dear Lord, please help us to hold on to your unchanging hand. Oh God, please have mercy today. Dear Lord, please bless us today, which which blessings you see we stand in the need of. Dear Lord, I pray for those that have requested prayer today. Dear God, I pray for the sick. I pray for the bereaved. I pray for those with legal problems. I pray for those whose faith needs strengthening. I pray for those who don't know you as their Savior. Those who feel that nobody cares about their problems. Dear Lord, please bless them as only you can. And above all, dear God, we thank you 
for your love for your children. John 3.16 says that you loved us so much that you gave your only begotten Son that whosoever believeth on him would have everlasting life. And John 14 and 16 teaches us, I am the way, the truth, and the light. And it says that no one can come to the Father except through your Son, Jesus Christ. And Lord, we thank you for that. And this month, as we prepare for Christmas, oh Lord, this month, we will celebrate the day that your son Jesus came to this earth in human flesh. And we thank you and we bless you today for that blessing. Please teach us to be strong and pure. Lead us to be where we need to be. And teach us to love as you have loved. Dear Lord, your goodness is so great that I can't imagine all of the things that you have done for me throughout my life. But I know that you will provide and you have provided them all. You have taught us through our Sunday school lessons that we are your handwork that we are your artwork. And I want to thank you today for allowing me to be a part of your handiwork. Oh, Lord, help us today. And you created me to do good and to do good work. Lord, you have been many vacant in the life and in the storms of my life. And today, I just want to say thank you, Lord, for all of these things that you have done. Lord, we need you, and we can't get along without you. And as the songwriter says, you have brought me through this. You have brought me through that. And Lord, I just want to thank you today. Dear Lord, as we prepare to celebrate Christmas, the birth of your son. May we magnify your holy name through praises and giving praises to you for allowing us and allowing your son to come to us for a few years and to teach us how to live and to live right. Lord, just help us today. Dear Lord, please guide us through the highs and the lows of this season. Bless those who are among us who are unsaved. Have them to know that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. For you sent your son to this earth, not to serve, or not to be served, but to serve. Oh Lord, have mercy today. This we are thankful for. Lord, renew in those people the right spirit and change their hearts to a heart of love. And during this season of love, may we be kind and compassionate to each other. Lord, just help us to be who we are supposed to be. Lord, we know that you are king of glory. You are the light of the world, and you sent your son to steal darkness, Lord, with his holy light. And this Christmas, may we celebrate this reason for this season. And oh my God, we love you, we honor you, and we give your holy name to praise. In the wonderful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen, amen, amen again. Thank you, Sister Hudson. Thank you, Brother McCoy. Thank you all so very much. Sister uh, Matilda Chapman, the third individual. If you're on the line, Sister Chapman, we submit to you at this time. Are you there, Sister Chapman? Yes, I am. 
thank you. Let us continue in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you today thanking you for life. Lord, we thank you for helping us along the way. Lord, as we struggle sometimes with the cares of life, we thank you for giving us the strength to endure and go through it all. Lord, we thank you for not giving up on us. When we face unexpected tragedies and unseen situations, Lord, I pray that you will never leave or forsake us without your power and strength operating in our lives. We are nothing. Lord, I pray that we really appreciate all that you do for us and never take for granted Lord, open our eyes to what's important to our soul and help us to put away all of those things that mean nothing. Lord, I pray that we study your word and hide it in our heart. Please, Lord, help us to control our anger and all thoughts that leads us to negative thinking and behaviors. Please order our steps. We ask you to continue to go before us and make every crooked way straight. Thank you for showing us the way. Lord, I pray we will seek you face in all things we do. I pray we humble ourselves and let you lead the way. Please, Lord, continue to lead and guide us with your Holy Spirit. Bless the storm victim. Heal this land. Lord, I ask a special blessing on our pastor Tobias and his family. Lord, bless the ones that name was called. Let them know that you are God and beside you there are no others. Dear God, help them to hold on to you and knowing that you know best and not give up. Lord, we are standing on the promises. Lord, help us. Lord, give us and help us do your will. These blessing acts in your name, for Christ's sake, amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Amen. Thank you, Sister Chapman, for blessing us as well. As we continue with our final prayer on today, God, our Father, you are, God, you are so awesome. You are so amazing. Your power at work in our lives, God, and we thank you for that. We thank you for being active and involved in our lives, even today through the power of your Holy Spirit. God, we thank you for your love, your care, your mercy, your grace. God, and I thank you that you're always with us, and your word says that you would never leave us. Thank you for the incredible and awesome sacrifice so that we might have freedom, we may have life. And right now, God, I pray that you will continue to forgive us for when we don't thank you enough. Forgive us for when we uh, use your name in vain, and we ask that you will forgive us. And, and set our eyes and our hearts on you afresh, on you anew. God, I pray 
in the name of Jesus on today that you will renew our spirits, fill us with your peace, fill us with your joy, because the truth of the matter is, God, we love you and we need you more this day and every day of our life. We give you praise, God. We give you the honor and thanks because you alone are worthy. God, I pray for those names that were called earlier on the prayer list that Deacon McCord read. I pray for each individual, God. I pray for those names that were not mentioned or called. So many individuals are going through. God, we are, many of us are going through emotionally. We're going through mentally, God. Some of us are just tired. And we need your spirit, we need your power, because your word says that you give strength in times of weakness. So, God, I pray that you would strengthen those who are weak, encourage those who need it the most, build them up, and encourage them throughout this walk of life. God, throughout this Christmas season, we pray for safety, we pray for your protection. But more importantly, God, we pray that the memory of the the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be at the forefront of all of our minds. Thank you for New Mount Zion Church family, how you have been showing favor, blessing, and keeping us because greater is ahead. And we proclaim and we thank you now for what you've done, what you're getting ready to do, and even what you're doing right now, God. We pray that you keep our minds stayed on you, keep us in perfect peace. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Listen, thank you all so much again. Uh, Thank you all so much again for tuning in and participating in our midday prayer period on today. Listen, do not forget this coming Sunday, 9 o'clock hour, we invite each of you to call and participate in our Sunday school hour and then our worship experience at 11 a.m. Listen, until Sunday morning, may the grace of God be with each of you. And I pray that the Lord keep you in his care and continue to bless each of you real good. Have a blessed day and continue to be thankful on this Thursday. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Conference will automatically end in 60 seconds.